All right, guys, welcome to Kitchen Daddy. This week, we are making an absolute French classic, steak au poivre. We're talking beautiful peppercorn crusted steak served with a pan gravy, flambéed in brandy with a touch of cream. Guys, this is everyone's steakhouse favorite. Can't believe we've not done it sooner, so come on, let's get into it. Right, to kick things off, I've got this beautiful steak here. As you can see, it's got some nice bit of marbling, but I mean, look how thick that is. It is a big, big steak. So uh, that's gonna be plenty for two people. So all we need to do now is give that a really good seasoning with salt. And then I've also got our peppercorns. Now I've got a good mixture of black, white, and pink peppercorns. They've also been ground at different sizes. So we've got some fine peppercorns in there, and then we've also got some coarse ones. So that's gonna give us a good coating all over the steak, and you're also gonna get a good bit of texture in that as well. So let's make sure all of that is completely coated. That looks great. So let's get the pan on a really nice high heat. Okay, we've cooked steak loads of times before, guys, so we're not gonna really focus in on the cooking of steak. I wanna focus on making the sauce. So let's add a good splash of oil to the pan. Let's get the steak in there. We're gonna cook that for about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes on one side. Let's add in some butter. Okay, let's flip that over. And we're also gonna add in some garlic and some thyme. Now let's start basting that steak. Really important, let's grab our tongs. We wanna seal that all the way over. Now, because that's so thick, we're gonna throw that in the oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius. We're gonna cook that for probably two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, hard to tell. That's why you've gotta get in there after about you know, two, three minutes, pull it out, have a look, give it a press. Feels like that, rare, medium, well done. Uh-oh, terrible, right? So you know what to do, guys. Once that's finished, we're gonna get that out. We need to pour off all of that burnt butter and oil. Get that, we don't want that going into our sauce. And now we can get the pan back on a medium gentle heat and we can make the peppercorn sauce. First up, let's get some fresh butter in there. Whilst that's melting down, we're gonna add in a couple of tablespoons of finely chopped shallots. Now let's give that a good mix around. And we're also gonna add in probably about a teaspoon of chopped garlic as well. We wanna keep that on that lovely gentle heat. We're gonna cook that out for probably about a minute, two minutes. Okay, that looks fantastic. And what you can see guys, it's picked up all those lovely little bits of meat from the bottom of the pan and some of the peppercorns. Now, we are gonna to have to add some more peppercorns in there because we want it to be a really beautiful pepper, peppery sauce. So let's add in one, and two, there we go. That's a good load of pepper in there. We wanna fry that off. And remember, pepper is a spice, so we need to fry it really gently so it starts releasing some of its own beautiful oils. That is definitely come together. So we're gonna flambe that off in some brandy. So let's pour in a good load of brandy. And then use a lighter. This is probably the easiest way to do flambe, guys. We've got some good flames coming off here. You know, they're gonna die down. Once they've died down, let's start moving that around. And you're gonna see that the brandy is gonna cook off really quite quickly. And when it gets to about this stage, we know that's gonna be absolutely right. So let's pour over some beef stock. Okay, that's gonna be plenty. That's probably gonna be enough sauce for about four people there. Um, so what we wanna do is just bring that up to the boil. We're gonna cook that pretty quickly, guys, because remember, we've got that steak resting down there. Now let's bring that up to the boil. I'm also gonna add in some fresh thyme as well. We're gonna let that cook and reduce down, which should take about five minutes. Now, once it gets to this consistency, and to be honest, guys, the most important thing we need to do is taste it. Make sure that that's gonna be tasting absolutely right. 
but once it gets to about this consistency, we're going to add in our final ingredient, which is some cream. You need to bring this up to the boil. Let that reduce down as well. That's going to reduce down. Now do that nice and gently because we don't want it to split out. Now when it gets to this kind of consistency, and then you can wipe that off the back of your spoon, you know it's done. That is looking absolutely fantastic. And the last thing, one more thing. Hold your horses there. Look at all these lovely meat juices from the steak that's rested. Let's pour them in. We're gonna mix that all together and let's plate up. Here we go, guys. Oh, come on. You've got to be happy with that, eh? You've got to be happy. Oh, my word. I can't wait. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, yeah. And if you want some more healthier dishes, let me know that as well, because to be honest, guys, I love cooking all this kind of food. And I know it gets a lot of views. But I also like to eat really healthy food, and I'm, I'm probably, uh, you know, just need to, you know, uh, cut back on some of this food and eat a bit healthier. So uh, you'd help me out if you wanted to have some healthy food as well. Anyway, get in the comments, give us the thumbs up, take care, see you next week. Bye-bye.